Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today we are going to find square roots these big big numbers square roots in matter of seconds okay with a very simple trick okay. So please understand here we have to pay very close attention to this particular table which I am going to complete right now okay. So now understand. This is the last digit of the squares. Okay, so when we do square of one, the number is what one? So unit digit is one. Now square of two gets you four. So unit digit is four. Now square of three gets you nine. So for three we get the unit digit as nine. Square of four gets you sixteen. So in that the unit digit is what six. So we have for four the last digit is coming out to be six. Okay. Now for 5 any square 25 square 35 square 15 square every time the last unit digit will be what 5. Okay. Now coming to 6. So 6 into 6 is 36 correct. 6 cube is 216 right. So 6 is also the last digit of 4 as well as 6. Okay. Any number which is ending in 7 has the last digit as what 9 right because 7 square is 49 so here I can say 3 and 7 both of them have the last digit as 7 okay then the next one 8 so 8 square is 64 so here also the unit digit is what 4 so I can say 2 and 8 both of them have the unit digit as 4 now 9 square is what 1 so I can say 1 and 9 both of them have the last digit of their squares as 1 right so in this way you saw i've covered all the numbers starting from 1 to 9 okay now you might be wondering acha now what happens if we have these last digit of your square root is ending in 2 3 7 or 8 so in this case they are what imperfect squares okay and to understand or to find out the imperfect square, I have already made a video on that. You can go ahead and check it out. The link will be on top or somewhere in the description. Okay. This video is specially dedicated for perfect squares. Now why am I giving so much of importance to perfect square is because in any entrance, it is always preferred. The exams also always have perfect squares. Very, very rarely ever I have seen a question where it which was involving a imperfect square okay so now coming to this one let's see uh, what will be the answer for this one so now we have the last digit as 4 so for 4 what are the two digits available 2 and 8 okay now 23 is closest to which square it is closest to actually 25 but it has to be the square has to be lower than 23 so can i say it is closer to 14 sorry it is closer to 16 which is which square four square okay so now we know the answer to this one will either be 42 or it will be 48 now how are you going to judge with this okay so we'll write 23 as it is and this 4 will be written here and we'll multiply 4 with the next number which is what 4 into 5 so here i can say this is coming out to be what 20 this is coming out to be 20 and I can say 23 is greater than 20 right so in this case if this is greater then we'll pick out the greater number from this particular two values okay students let's do this one more time with this one so we have 6 so either the last digit will have 4 or it will have 6 now 54 is very close to what 49 right so 49 is which square 7 square so now either the number will be 74 or 76 so we will write down 7 into now we will multiply 7 with what next number which is 8 so we have 54 and 7 into 8 is 56 so can I say 54 is lesser than 56 so in this case I will take the lesser value so here my final answer will be 74 students if you have like you are understanding the way i'm teaching then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section so now this is again nine so nine will have either have what three 
or 7 now we have 68 please understand whenever I'm doing this I'm eradicating the last two digits okay and I'm only focusing on the rest of the digits available in the question so we have 68 we'll write it over here and 68 is with uh, closer to what 64 that is 8 square so 8 will now get multiplied to the number which is coming after it that is what 9 so 18 to 9 is 72 now can I say 68 is lesser than 72 so here again we will take the lesser value so here I can say 83 square is 6889 okay now see for 5 we already know that any number which is ending in 5 will always have the unit digit as 5 okay so here you don't have to worry at all okay now 72 is closer to which square it is closer to 8 square so here we don't have to do the guesswork you can directly go ahead and write your answer okay now let's look for even a bigger number so again this is 6 so we either have 4 or 6 correct we will now strike out sorry there there was just one one I'm so sorry it's just one one okay so we will strike out the last two digits and then we have what this is 129 so 129 and this is closer to what 1 to 1 which is 11 square 11 when get get when gets multiplied to 12 which is the number next to it we get the answer as 132 so again this is smaller so we'll take the smaller value so I'll say 12996 is the square root of 114 now let's look for something bigger 50176 okay so 50176 is actually so 7 6 again we are having so this is 4 or 6 so this is cancelling now this is what 501 and this is actually closer to 22 square correct so now 22 into 23 gets you 506 so this is smaller so we'll take the smaller value okay now let's do one more and after that i'll show you the diy to 24964 so we have either 2 or 8 in the units digit 249 is very close to 15 square which is 225 correct so 249 will now check with 15 into 16 that gets you how much 240 so we will say this is bigger so we will take the bigger value amongst the given these two options okay so now coming to your DIY I want you all to tell me what is the answer for square root of 9604 do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today I will see you in the next video